see what date is it? Um, September. No city, that was fun. Eva's birthday, put out the recycling. Uh -uh. Oh my goodness, you guys, how did I almost lose all of an entire month? How does a person even do that? Anyway, but I made it. It is September 29th. I have two days to spare. Whew. Let's get on to this month's gemstone. So every month I'm challenging myself to draw a picture based on the gemstone and hopefully the flower of the month. So this month we have lovely sapphire. As usual, I do all the line art on my computer. I use a Wycom tablet Cintiq and Clip Studio Paint for the software. I like to make my line art digitally, that way it's easy for me to offer it for you guys if you want to color along with me. So if you're interested in getting some line art, I will have a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. You can get this line art or many, many others as well. Something I did this month that I did a few months back, I think it was with Ruby. I opened this up as a ginormous collaboration with any of you who wanted to tackle this theme and send me a picture, I would put it in the video. And I have tried to put as many of them as I possibly can into this video, so make sure you watch all the way through so you don't miss out on some fabulous art. But before I get into that, let me talk a little bit about this piece and some of the inspiration. The Sapphire Stone is a dark blue gem, though I have heard that it comes in other colors as well, but I decided to stick with the traditional blue, and I wanted to push myself in a couple of areas. First, in the costume design, I wanted to try a sheer material, something that you could kind of see the form underneath, and drawing it isn't too hard, but coloring I knew would be a little bit more of a challenge. So for the actual like legs and arms and things like that. I colored it a little bit darker and then the parts where you could see through, I left those a little bit lighter. I also used lighter and darker tones to kind of show maybe the textures of the fabric or the wrinkles, the ruffles, the folds and things like that. And it was a bit of a learning process. At points in this piece, I was like, hmm, I don't know if this is working out the way I wanted to. But that's the fun of trying something brand new is you get to learn while you go. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't, but you always learn something new. So for the gem stone words themselves, I'm pretty sure that, that sapphire is a much darker stone than these ended up being. But I love how the finished piece looks like this kind of glassy texture to it. It's really, really pretty. By the way, if you guys hear a little clicking sound every once in a while, it's my heater. Fall has arrived and it is cold in my studio. Normally, I complain about it being hot in my studio, but now it is cold. So every once in a while you hear a little click and that is my thermostat. I probably could just turn my heater off, but then you would hear more clicking because my teeth would be chattering. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to try was to get a glowing look to the sapphire words and to the gemstones hanging. So a trick for doing that is to start with your lightest color first. So if you want it to glow a color, like I wanted these to glow kind of a light blue, I colored around them with the light blue and then slowly brought the color in darker and darker and darker and blended and blended and blended and blended. And I think the technique worked. September has actually two different flowers of the month. I can't remember what the other one was. I chose the Morning Glory because I love Morning Glories. They're so beautiful. A lot of people think they're weeds. I think they're beautiful. They're inspirational flowers because they bloom in the morning and you have to wake up in the morning to see them bloom. And I'm a person who doesn't like to get up in the morning, so it's kind of makes me want to get out to go look at Morning Glories. Also, they look like little fun little trumpets. Morning Glories come in a lot of different colors. They come in blue, pinks, purples, but I decided to stick with the blue color because it goes with the theme. I did add some green for the leaves, but I wanted to keep it a cooler green, so I chose more of a blue greens for the leaves instead of a bright like forest green. Now comes my favorite part. For her bodice or the corset area, I wanted to bedazzle it with little gems, and I was trying to figure out how is I going to do that? Well, I decided I would use a really fabulous glitter pen. So I actually got this Pentel Sparkle Pen from one of my Smart Art Boxes. I had never tried this brand before, so I'm so excited that I found this because I've actually gone to the art store and bought a whole bunch more. Um, this one I love because as you kind of rotate the picture, the actual glitter changes from like a blue to a green, which I think is so pretty. I also use a metallic, metallic, 
silver pen and just a regular white gel pen to add in some extra little touches. Now, before I show you the finished piece here, I want to go ahead and show you all the wonderful, beautiful entries that I had for this month. Thank you guys so much for submitting your art into this. Having a collaboration, whether it's a uh, between you and one other artist or between you and a group of artists, is a great way to grow and, and challenge yourself as an artist. Giving yourself a theme, like we did with Sapphire, and seeing how so many different artists take that theme, but interpret it totally differently. It's so, I don't know, it inspires me. It makes me want to draw and create. So even if you never want to like post your work online, I really challenge you, if you see artists taking a challenge or taking a theme, jump in there and do that and push yourself to, to do that theme. A big challenge that's coming up next month, as you guys know, is Inktober. I'm going to attempt to do the whole thing this month. Every single day, drawing one ink picture. I am so excited. I hope you guys also take your own Inktober adventures. But once again, a big thanks to everyone who submitted artwork for this September Gemstone Challenge. I tried to put in as many pieces as I possibly could. I got a few emails that people were sending me art, but they didn't actually put in the art into the email. So I just got the email and no art. And I'm always afraid that someone sent me an email and I missed it. So if you did mean to have a picture in here and I didn't, I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm gonna hopefully do this challenge again before this uh, before this year is up. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out the announcement for when that is. But anyway, back to the picture. Here is the finished piece. Let me kind of wiggle into the light so you can see all the reflected metallic ink in there. Oh, it's so cool. I don't know how it's going to take as like if I make a print out of this. But there we go. We finished this month's gemstone with two days to spare. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me in this video. And again, if you guys are interested in the line art, I will leave a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if your birthday is in the month of September, would you let me know in the comment section below? We will have a little comment birthday party for you. I think that would be, that would be great fun. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. God bless you guys. Keep drawing and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.